Welcome back to Top Teens TV. I'm Kendall B from the KS1075 Morning Show. And uh, no, it's not a 14er, but it's pretty doggone good from where we are here at Fun City in Littleton. This is the Vertical Challenge, 29 feet of indoor rock wall. And apparently the indoor record here, five seconds. Five seconds to get to the top of this. Probably take me five days. <laughs> so I'm just going to hang out here and uh, introduce you to uh, Rissa Perea from Alameda High School, who is doing some great things at her school, including some lasting artwork that could be there for uh, many years to come with all kinds of students that are coming through the school. And she's also entering art fairs, all kinds of great things. Let's check out her work. My name is Rissa Perea, and I'm an 11th grader at Alameda High School. My mom is an artist, and so I, I grew up around her drawing and painting and stuff. And so I, um, I remember the first thing I ever asked her to teach me to draw was a Pikachu because I liked Pokemon and then after that it just kind of stuck. I grew up like pencil drawing, so I've been used to pencil drawing my whole life. I'll get an idea and then I immediately go to paper and pencil and then I, I draw it out. I really like drawing like people, like especially profile, like actual people. I also like drawing lots of like anime and just realistic stuff, kind of. Last year there was a uh, Defco art show, and I, um, my art, my old art teacher asked me to, to submit something, and so I drew up a picture and I put it in there, and it went pretty well. So this is the the drawing that I submitted to the Defco High School art exhibit um, last year during the spring, and it got chosen out of thousands of pieces of artwork. I submitted it without a name, so my teacher named it Ungrateful Love. I don't think it really fits the picture. I don't, I don't know how she viewed it, but I didn't view it the same way. So, <laughs> I actually got involved in PNN, which is Pirate News Network for Alameda High School. Um, last year, my older sister was in it, and she said it was a lot of fun, so I joined, and I've just always, it's just really fun. As a team, we pretty much all do everything. Like one person will learn to edit, and then the next day, someone else will learn to edit. Um, so I've, by the end of the semester, you pretty much know how to do everything, and you've done everything. Every day, we get assigned roles, who gets to do what. Um, and today, in particular, I was assigned the in-charge role. I like the, like the action, the constant movement, and the constant having to do this and having to do that and put it all together to make something really good for people to view and, and enjoy. Last year, um, my, my old art teacher asked me if I wanted to do a mural around the school, something with school spirit, and I was talking to my aunt one night and she and I made up the idea of making a lady pirate, pretty much controlling other school mascots, like saying we're the best. It took me like two days to, to draw it out and then about two months in all to paint it on the wall. I'm so used to pencils and putting, like painting it up there was really hard because I've never really painted anything before and so it was really new. I picked the idea and I agreed to do it because I wanted to show my school spirit. I wanted to give pride to other students. Our school does mean a lot of school pride. Um, I'm not saying we don't have it, I just think we should school should have more pride because we want to represent ourselves, we want to represent that we can achieve even if we don't win. When I was in high school some <clears throat> years ago, uh, there was a guy who made a mural and that mural is still up at my high school in California. So uh, risk of what you've done, that mural could be there for quite some time. Congratulations, thanks for making a difference at Alameda High School. We're back at Fun City, and as you can tell, I'm ready to go go-kart racing. Yes, indoor go-karts, it's going to be a wonderful time for me to race, but nowhere near our next top team. When we come back, we're going to introduce you to Dean, who won a race on one of the highest, if not the highest roads in the United States of America. Of course, that's right here in Colorado on Mount Evans. That and more when we come back. Here we go. Woo!